Hello guys, today I am going to show you how we replaced the defective heater for the Modachana SC500 steam sterilizer. As you can see, I got a call from the customer saying that one of the sterilizer isolators is tripping continuously while running any cycles. Luckily customer knew more about sterilizers, and he disconnected the output of the isolators to the heater and kept the machine in running condition. This made the machine complete the cycle and I was able to open the chamber door of the sterilizer when I reached the customer location. So please make sure not to switch off the machine if the cycle is not completed. Only after completing the cycle, we can open the sterilizer's door. You can see that I just switched off the machine and opened the electrical panel and showed the inside of the panel. On this image you can see that the customer disconnected the heaters and was not tripping anymore. I checked the machine, and I knew that one of the heaters is defective, but the unit is having three heaters. I need to find out which heaters are defective. Here you can see that, I just switched on the machine again from the inside and then went to the main screen and switched on the machine from the outside by pressing the outer on button. Once the machine is on, you can log into the service mode and switch off the steam generator, with that you can supply to the heaters. This is also another option to isolate the heaters. Next, I just put the machine in service mode. As you can see that see now the display is showing that the equipment is pending repair and the machine will be under repair mode. If you don't have anything to check on the display, you can switch off the machine for safety. As you can see that there is a cover on top of the heaters. I removed the cover for detailed inspection. In this steam sterilizer you can see that there are like three heaters are there. I also opened the drainage valve to drain the water from the steam generator. But the water level was not coming down and I need to empty the steam generator before removing the heater. Using a multimeter I checked the continuity of the heater terminals. If the heater is working fine, the heater will not have any continuity. You have to check between the earth and the phases. If any of the heaters are defective, they will be showing continuity so I checked three heaters and found that one of the heaters was giving continuity. I checked the heaters with light for anything unusual and also to see how the connections of the heaters are there in the steam generator. I already opened the drainage valve, and I was trying thinking that why the water level was not coming down. Then I got an idea to remove the water from steam generator. I switched off the water supply both normal water and the aero water. There was a 230V compressor which was used in the sterilizer. I took a connection from the air compressor and connected to the steam generator. When the compressor was switched on, the air pumped the water out of the steam generator and with the air pressure water was drained.
there is a special tool to remove the heater from the steam generator. In this video you can see myself and my colleague is removing the heater. You can see the heater is removed from the machine. I inspected the inside of the steam generator and checked the quality of the water. After that, we took the new heater and fixed it to the steam generator. After that, we purged the water in the steam generator. Once all the connections are put back and we confirmed that it was safe to run a cycle. We successfully run the cycle and informed the customer that the machine is working. Thank you very much for watching this video. This is my first video and one of my first videos which I am editing. So please forgive if you have felt anything bad and please give back your suggestions and comments.